Hello, and here we are today, and we're going to be drawing an apple, a red apple, in Procreate on the iPad. So, um, I've got, a, as you probably already know, um, well, from the last iPad video, I've got an iPad Mini 5, so it's only a small little thing. Um, but it's quite handy for sketches and stuff like that. So, anyway, off we go. Um, just uh, drawn in an ellipse for our basic shape. And we just filled it in there with the colour red, just to see where we're at. Kind of a mid-tone red, and we're just sort of measuring things out. And we're going to use the mesh tool to alter the shape of our ellipse, which is almost a circle, just to kind of go into a an apple shape. So I'm kind of sort of pinching it at the bottom and kind of flattening it at the top, the shape. So we've got the mesh tool, and I think we're going to do an advanced mesh just to kind of add a fine um, alteration to our desired shape. I was thinking, I, I wonder if I need, actually need to narrate these videos. Uh, let me know if you want these narrated as we go through. Or I could just stick some of my music on and just sit back and put your feet up. And if you don't want to listen to my voice while you're watching this video, just switch the volume down and stick on Spotify if you like. You can listen to some of my music on Spotify if you want to. Anyway, back to the video. So, right, we've got our shape in, and now what I'm doing is erasing some areas on the shape just to make it look more apple-looking. So we've selected a razor, and I selected the technical pen I do believe so you can use you can use all the brushes and pens and pencils and stuff as erasers too and you can use it in the blurring function all the functions on the top right hand side all the three functions I should say you got your brushes merging tool and eraser tool so there I just carefully um, carving out our apple shape there if you can hear footsteps then that was Astro Cat walking across the wardrobe or a chest of drawers so just zooming in there trying to get it how I want it to look the base of the apple I clean my screen on the iPad just before doing this video and it seemed to have interfered with me pinching the screen backwards and forwards unless I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I don't know. Right, so we duplicated that duplicated that original shape. And now we're we just darkened it up a darker red so we can differentiate between the two layers. So we created a new layer as well, as you saw. Pardon me. And now we're just carving out a part, so we'll have a, a rear layer and a front layer, or a back layer and a front layer. And this will make it easier, well it makes it easier for me, um, for shading. So you, so you can see where you're at, and you'll see as the video progresses. So just rubbing out that top bit. And you might see we've got a little bit of depth there with those two shapes. And just finally rubbing out and taking away from that top layer. just altering it a little bit with the mesh tool also I didn't alter it that much just kind of flatten the top out just a little bit just rubbing out some areas there which shouldn't be there I don't know how I got them there in the first place probably using my fingers because the fingers will make marks on the screen as well as the pencil 
for the Apple Pencil. And I seem to do a lot of that, making lots of marks. So I always have to check the pictures at the end to see if there's any unwanted marks that I've put in while drawing the picture. All right now I've selected some colors and we're putting in we're putting in another layer and we're just drawing the stalk in. So that's on the top layer and once we've drawn the stalk in we can insert that between the two apple layers. So as you can see I just drawn over the top over both the layers. I'm moving down there with the apple pencil between the two layers. And that's where we want the stalk. And you get that nice clean cut across that front layer. So it looks like it is actually behind that front layer. I'm using the mesh tool just to alter the stalk to how I want. It's great with the iPad. Obviously there's lots of corrections you can make, which you wouldn't be able to make with traditional drawing. Although I do like traditional drawing as well, but I do love, or I've grown to love and got right into um, digital drawing. And especially uh, in Procreate on the iPad. So now we're using an airbrush. I, I like using the airbrush to um, create our painting effects. So you just kind of selected a mid-tone there, or just slightly lighter mid-tone, I should say. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, so just ignore me if I'm getting things wrong. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. So there we are, we're just using the airbrush there, sped it up a little bit. And we're just building layers of paint up on this front apple layer. And just building up colors and layers of spray paint or airbrushing bits. I'm using the merging tool as well, that little finger tool, just to blend things in, or the blending tool, just to blend the colors in as we go. I'm just selecting a highlight there. Off white going towards yellow, and we're just putting some highlights and getting our size right on the left hand side so that those sliders there you got the top bit which alters the size, and the bottom bit which alters the opacity of the paint going on to your surface. So, there we are, adding some highlights in. By the way, I do have a reference photo, so I've got a photo just out of screen, which I can look at to see where we can put our shades on the apple and the overall shape of the apple as well. So if you're doing something like this, it might be an idea to have a photo or an image of an apple or whatever you're drawing just to go by as a reference image. Right, so now I'm putting some dark spray paint in there or airbrushing you can just put it in where you think it's supposed to go or where it is on your reference photo just build it all up and build the layers of airbrushing up and uh, use the blending tool also. So we switch to the the rear layer now, the back layer, and um, do the back part of the apple. I'm just doing pretty much the same thing. Highlights, mid-tones, and dark areas. And now you'll see it come together, where I've sort of got the same color where those two layers um, meet at the top of the apple. So if you got this far into the video, Astro Cat says hi. So if you got this far into the video, say, I got to the part of the video that said, Astro Cat says hi. So say, hi Astro Cat in the comments. 
if you want to. I'm just being childish. So we are building up the layers, highlights there. Oh yeah, we, we made another layer there for that, um, that that reflective highlight that kind of sets things off. Um, because I don't want that to blur or mix into the paints on the other layers. So that highlight is on a separate layer. So we can keep that from being contaminated by the other colors. I'm just using the blender there, just to blend everything in. I don't think I can talk properly tonight for some reason. It's around 20 to 9 in the evening in the UK on a Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, 15th of April. Lockdown. Mind you, I don't think I can talk properly in all the videos that um, I talk in. Right, so we're just doing the highlights now around the edges, as you can see. So that's kind of a neat white. And now blending everything in. So everything's come together quite nicely. So we're going to draw another ellipse now for our shadow underneath the apple. And this will kind of set it off as well. So it's a quite handy way of doing shadows. I used to do this when I used, uh, well, uh, a, a while back, used uh, in Photoshop and Illustrator. But um, I first found out how to do it in Illustrator from tutorials years ago. I was looking at tutorials in Illustrator. I haven't used Illustrator for years. That's a good program for vector graphics, of course. If anybody's familiar. So there we are. So we made the ellipse. Um, and we've used the opacity tool to blur it out to make it into a shadow. But I, I didn't want the shadow to be totally black, so I made it a very dark brown, as you can see there, or a dark brown. Now we we'll blur it out again. I'm trying to do it with a the pencil there, I'm going to have to do it with my finger. So there we have we've got a little shadow. And we can alter that to suit. So I kind of like lined it up and thinned it out, made it a bit thinner. So you see there. That's using the cursor tool thing, freeform, I think it's called there. I quite like drawing apples for some reason. I've done some paintings, some traditional paintings of apples. Well, I did. Did a few wasp and apple paintings which were quite popular at one point which I think I might do again because I sold a few um, in that style perhaps I'll pop up a picture in the community tab at some point of those paintings I think they're both acrylic paintings I think So now blending in the bottom bit just to kind of merge or yeah I'd like sort of merge in with a shadow area on that front layer of the apple and just blending it in there subtly blending it as you can see Just finishing touches. Putting in some shadow shading on the rear layer of the apple just to bring it out a bit. Blending it in. I'm like choosing a yellow just to put in that core area of the apple so it kind of makes it stand out a little. Adds a bit of depth. And 
blending it in. I'm going around the edges on that rear layer with a pure white. And just touching up that reflective area in the pure white also on that top layer, separate top layer. And using the blending tool also on spray mode or airbrush mode, I should say. Because there is another part, spray cans or spray paint. So you've got spray paint and airbrushing. So I'm using airbrushing throughout this video. Or the airbrush tool. So now under the stalk. And also as well, yeah, when you like painting these layers, select alpha lock. So it, when you select alpha lock, all you do is paint onto that actual shape. So there's no spillage on the outside of the, the actual shape. So you can just like go over it and it won't go anywhere. So you're just painting on the shape. Locks in the paint inside that shape, which is great. So just shading in the stalk. And we're almost there. So zooming in as we go. That stalk's quite small. It's amazing how far you can zoom in on these things. So fantastic. I'm totally impressed with Procreate. I think it's a brilliant program. It's my most favourite art program I've ever used. Mind you, I've only used... Well, I've used a few sort of art apps... But mainly, I, use photo, I still use Photoshop, but mainly for editing, really, not really for painting. Um, well, they've got a, an Adobe something, I can't remember what it's called now, on the iPad, which you can do sketching. Um, but I used Illustrator a long time ago for making vector graphics, but um, it's a totally different ball game. This Procreate just feels like you're painting and drawing traditionally and there's so many things you can do so now just selecting a the background there just a, just a subtle black uh, background just like an off-white just to bring those highlights out on the apple the white highlights so I'm just deciding what shade of color I want there so I opted for a kind of off yellow Maybe sort of off brown, off white, brown color. And I think that kind of sort of sets off the highlights on the apple. I'm going to merge the layers down and we can arrange our image within our frame or our canvas. And there we are. So just arranging the suit there. So kind of making everything sort of central. Or making the apple central to the canvas. And now signing the picture. Drama. Drama mask. If you can hear that, that's my printer turning on for some reason. It seems to have a mind of its own. So drama, April 2020. During the coronavirus lockdown. And there we are. Job done. So I know there's a few interests in these videos. So I hope this video helps out. It's kind of simplified the drawing and painting process to create something relatively quickly. I reckon it probably took maybe half an hour to 40 minutes to draw this, paint this. So you probably better do it quicker if you're not messing around with video stuff and all that type of thing. And there we are, job done. I think I just talked through the speed thing, didn't I? So the speed video showed up just a minute ago which is great with the i this ipad or procreate because it saves you 
the stages when you draw. So anyway, I'm Waffling. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and over and out for now.